but you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to block ransomware or try to block ransomware using software so i'm going to be taking a look at the win anti-ransom software i've already purchased it i did contact these uh company they're created by win patrol i did uh, reach out for them and say whether they would send me a license so i could do a full review uh, but they never got back to me so i've ended up purchasing it so i can do a test uh, myself now this is going to be a non-biased test so these are not sponsoring me by any way shape or form um, it's made by wind patrol and i have made a review for, of wind patrol which is very good and uh, as you can see here it's basically saying don't let ransomware steal your memories take the war to ransomware block a ctb locker and test crypt and all these types of uh, uh, ransomwares and it also says keep your photos music documents spreadsheets and all that safe and secure now that being said um, the trouble with software is if it's not kept up to date and it's not blocking all the latest and greatest ransomwares then it's going to allow them on your system and it's going to encrypt all your data yeah, i would always advise to run software like this but also make an image of your system and also create a backup of all your data just in case the software doesn't function right and it lets it through at least you've got a safety net okay so never rely on any one product to protect you because there's not one product out there that's going to protect you against ransomware now this is a whitelisted type software as you can see here and uh, basically it works on a whitelisting system so anything that's whitelisted is good to run and it's safe uh, and anything that's on the blacklist it won't run okay so you can see here we have got add a add a program details properties block whitelist do not whitelist and so on allowed by signature whitelist a folder um, and configure your safe zone remove data and search for programs and also virus total i'm not going to do a full review of the software because uh, i'm going to try and keep this down to a test but basically you can see here if i wanted to block something i could block this and also i can unblock it you can right click and unblock as well uh, i did notice that when you block here you can't unblock with this button but i think there's something wrong with the code there uh, so you just right click and unblock you've also got your little sliders here that whitelist and uh, and unwhitelist okay so that being said let's take a look at the uh, settings i've registered my version here i've got my license installed it's verified and uh, you've also got easy mode which we're in at the moment now if you took it out of easy mode all that does basically gives you more scope here you can see safe zone preemptive attack network and so on you can control your sliders uh, more okay uh, but i do like the idea with the easy mode uh, because there's a lot of uh, beginner users out there that are going to install this on their system and they want simplicity the trouble with whitelisting systems is it could be quite complicated to some people so i'm hoping uh, that this is a very easy uh, to navigate and use software now i will do a full review on this at some point if you want to see that video then let me know in the comments section below otherwise we'll just do this test here now you've got your scan for uh, programs and it will search your system and uh, you can see we're pretty much good to go here now the first thing that you must make sure that's running is the services for this program it is running i'm pretty sure of it by default when you install it does run uh, but i just want to make sure to show you that they're running and you can see here it's started and you can see declare war on ransomware that's their uh, service and we have another one here and they're both started and running okay so you can see here they're all running so what we're going to do is do a test here now i'm just going to quickly open up my task manager here and put it on the processes tab and what we're going to do is run a, a CBT locker ransom on here and see if it blocks it. Now, again, uh, they do offers on these uh, pieces of software. If you look around, you get uh, promotional codes and stuff like that. Uh, this cost me, I think it was about 19 or 20 pounds or something like that to purchase uh, to block ransomware. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to click on the first one here and uh, we'll close this off and we should get the preemptive at actions here and this is a box that pops up you can see it's on the system here and we should be getting the preemptive area here and this will say do you want to allow the program or block the program to run on your system and you can see my data it's it's let that on the system 
and it's now encrypted all that data so it's not blocked the CTB locker um, that it says it will block so that's not good uh, really now if you this is what my point is really if you're relying on software to protect you and this does happen now, this is not a uh, this is not to make it look bad for software companies or win anti ransom uh, plus or anything like that this just goes to show you that you can't rely on one piece of software to do a job for you now this means that now all my data would be encrypted and you'll be held to ransom and this is exactly why you're purchasing this product to try and protect you uh, so as you can see here it's not giving me a preemptive uh, action to do it's just let it on the system so now what we can do is uh, revert the system back and I will try Tesla Crypt to see whether that stops it. So I'll pause the video and quickly rewind uh, the system back to a clean state. Okay, so now I've rewound the operating system back to a clean state and I'm just gonna make sure that that service is running again because I've just restored it. So I just wanna make sure and uh, we can check. So we'll just quickly check here okay we've started this service off as you can see here they're all working and uh, what we're going to do here now is try Tesla crypt and uh, Tesla crypt uh, these files here I'll just quickly scan with malware bytes to see make sure they are Tesla crypt and they're not anything else and this should block these uh, files so I'm just going to quickly scan this here now these videos are not to shine bad light on companies or software these are just a, a educational and just to try to educate people and to stop them relying on uh, one piece of software to do a job and same as malware bytes it's it's not foolproof there's nothing out there that's foolproof or any antivirus it, as that in that case there's no one antivirus that's uh, the best out there that can block everything and you see these are tesla crypt so we're going to give these a scan and uh We've got everything running here. And I'm just going to quickly open up my task manager here and open up the processes. And uh, we'll go to the Tesla Crypt folder here and I'll click on, say, this one. That will do. And uh, now we should get a preemptive strike here where we can block this. Now you can see this is trying to run here. Um, so I'm going to say yes, and this should try to block it. And if I say no, like this, It'll probably just keep coming back like that like so so if I say yes let's see if this actually blocks it because it should do then we should get that preemptive action uh, to try and block this uh, here because it's trying to drop and run on the system it seems to uh, be not doing anything I'm not sure what's happened here it's shut down my task manager so we'll leave this running up oh, I can see something down the bottom right hand side here you have files waiting to be burnt to disk which is normally uh, an action that's going to cause this and you can see here now all my files are now encrypted which is not good and I'm not sure what's happening here they're offering me 20 percent discount now let me just close that off and I'm not sure what's gone on there why that's not give me the preemptive uh, part here and I'm pretty sure I've done it right because it's exactly uh, how it is here in their video which I've seen um, which just basically leaves it running as stock here and it just blocks it but it's not blocked it for me and it is actually encrypted all my files so I'll let you make your own minds up guys this is not to slam any one product it's just a case that you've got to be very very careful when you're running particular types of software like this to try and protect your system and it's the same with any software so it's not just this software I would not rely on any one piece of software to try and protect me against uh, crypto lockers uh, and ransomwares like this because once you get hit by them that it's misery you're going to lose all your baby photos holiday photos wedding photos whatever it may be that will all be encrypted and it will be gone back it up keep it off the system and if you do get hit then you, at least you've got it off the system and it's safe on a drive 
I tend to buy an external drive, keep it back up to that drive and keep it unplugged and keep it safe somewhere so you can plug it in and restore it all back. And that's my way of protecting. Uh, it's an easy and cheap way to do it. And uh, it's more, it's gonna protect you. It would have never hit that because it's not on the computer. But as you can see here, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I think I'm not gonna bother anymore uh, but with uh, the video. I think we've done what we need to do here. We've got two uh, hits here. I could try another Tesla Crypt uh, if you want um, in another video, but pretty much you can see that's hit and it's now encrypted all our data. I'm going to wrap this one up. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this answers all your questions, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button uh, to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Uh, if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or anything like that, uh, then you can always head over to my forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then you can always head over there and uh, give us a little like up over there. Anyway, have a great bank holiday and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.